हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ नेहा गुप्ता योर मेंटर फॉर करंट अफेयर्स सो लेट्स क्विकली बिगिन टूडेज क्लास आई होप गाइज यू आर अवेयर अबाउट द टाइम टेबल एज वेल एज आर मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स क्विकली बिगिन विद आर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन तो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज हु हैड्स द पैनल ऑफ एम जी नरेगा स्कीम सो रिसेंटली द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट हैज क्रिएटेड दिस पैनल to recommend ways uh, to improve the implementation of the scheme as well as to monitor the implementation of the scheme at the present time so who heads this panel so here guys the right answer is amarjeet sinha he heads this mg narega schemes panel now what is the news exactly the news is what i have just told you when i uh, told you about the question that is the panel has been formed and the basic idea of behind constituting the panel is to check the implementation of the scheme and suggest measures to improve the implementation okay and uh, amarjit sinha was the former secretary within the ministry of rural development so this is an important fact so pay attention to that okay apart from this he has been uh, given 3 months to submit the suggestions uh, that is not a fact of importance now about the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act so this act was passed in 2005 and the basic uh, you can say promise that it makes to the rural laborers is that it is going to guarantee them an employment of 100 days okay per year for every rural household and there are currently 15.51 crore active workers enrolled under the scheme so the scheme has a huge outreach and a huge popularity especially in the rural areas but a very big uh, loophole in the scheme is that the wages are not being provided to the laborers at within the prescribed time frame so the wage delay is being faced by the laborers in many states i'm not saying that in all the states but many states are struggling with the budgets because they are not able to pay to the laborers and at the same time they have requested the union government to increase the budget of mg narega on that note my question from all of you is that you have to tell me the allocation for the mg narega in the union budget of 2022 to 23 now question number 2 which state has launched a new scheme mukhya mantri pratham gram se samekit vikas yojana so cm first village integrated development scheme is the english of this hindi uh, scheme a uh, hindi name now here which state is it so here guys uttarakhand is the right answer now it will be very easier easy for you to remember the state when you will come to know the purpose of this scheme so the basic purpose of this scheme is to strengthen the border villages by developing their economy by giving the people of these villages a good standard of living that is the basic idea of this scheme so border is uttarakhand uttarakhand shares its borders with nepal as well as tibet right which is now the autonomous region of uh, your china so uttarakhand government has launched a new scheme mukhya mantri pratham gram sam samekit vikas yojana to develop the villages close to the international border the international border of uttarakhand is shared with china as well as with nepal Question number three: Which state has signed an MOU with the U.S.-based Women's World Banking with funding support from the MetLife Foundation to operationalize and strengthen 5,000 women of self-help group? So here, guys, Maharashtra is the right answer. Okay. Now, before uh, going into the details of it. let me first tell you that maharashtra is also a state which is which is the, at the second position as far as the fdi inflows are concerned okay so it is getting a huge investment and it is on its path of development now coming back to the news it has signed an mou with the us based women's world banking institution uh, and the funding support for this mou is given by the metlife foundation and what's the basic idea of this mou the idea is to strengthen the 5000 women of the self help group to make them business correspondents 
to basically become the business correspondents for these women so that they can be empowered they get to know about the business scenarios and they get the help from the people who know about it okay that's the basic idea so these business correspondents or banking correspondents sakhis will help facilitate banking services in the rural area so here the major focus is on the financial services or including uh, or basically increasing the financial inclusion in the rural areas okay one major scheme of the government of india to increase this financial inclusion is the janthan yojana okay i hope you remember it uh, another initiative <coughs> another initiative of the government that aims to uh, strengthen the financial inclusion or the financial awareness to be more precise is the rbi's financial literacy week so here my dear friends my question from all of you is can you tell me when did rbi celebrate its financial literacy week in 2022 Okay, this is your question. Do tell me. Coming back to the news, you must have heard about the self-help groups in the news very often. But what is the meaning of the self-help group? So, guys, a self-help group is a group, obviously, a group of fifteen, uh, ten to twenty-five members. Okay, and the basic idea of this group is to come together so that the mutual problems of these members can be solved. Okay, the mutual problems like taking loan from the bank or uh, availing credit or financial services. So the basic idea of creating a self-help group was initially to come together to tackle the problems faced in the financial credit uh, arena. Okay, so here you can read as well that the members are usually women from similar social and economic backgrounds and all. voluntarily coming together to save small sums of money on a regular basis that is one purpose of the self help group another purpose of the self help group is also to uh, basically work together so that all of them can work to uplift the standard of living of each other okay by collecting the money by uh, providing that money as loan to any member who needs it so that is a kind of functioning of a self help group so these are the informal associations of people who choose to come together to find ways to improve their standard of living they are self governed peer controlled information groups of people with similar socio economic background and having a desire to perform common purpose question number 4 is which state launched the dr bhimrao ambedkar rajasthan dalit adivasi उद्यम प्रोत्साहन योजना टू एंश्योर द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ एस सी एस टी इज इन द इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट इन द स्टेट सो द राइट आंसर इज राजस्थान नाउ हियर द बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ दिस स्कीम इज टू एंश्योर दैट इन द इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट और इन द इंडस्ट्रीज एस सीज एंड एस टीज गेट अ राइटफुल रिजर्वेशन गेट अ राइटफुल रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो दैट दे ऑल्सो बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द स्टेट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव विच कंपनी इज developing the project 15b or visakhapatnam class destroyers for the indian navy so here mazagon dockyard uh, dock shipyard uh, ship builders is the right answer so mazagon dock ship builders has officially handed over the second uh, you can say stealth guided missile destroyer or the ship so this is guys the project 15b stealth guided missile destroyer so it's a ship which is used to uh, trace the missiles and destroy them before they hit the indian navy ship that's the basic idea of this stealth destroyer now this is uh, developed under the project 15b which is also called the visakhapatnam class stealth guided missile destroyer why visakhapatnam because the first ship of this project 15b was named as visakhapatnam and there are a total of four ships which are going to be developed under project 15b first is visakhapatnam second is this uh, mormugao so its name is mormugao and which is the place in goa as well third is imphal and fourth is surat okay so these are the four stealth guided missiles destroyers that are going to be developed under the project 15b of the indian navy now what is 15b 
if there is a 15b project then there must be a 15a project as well so yes there was a project 15a under which the kolkata class stealth guided missile destroyers were developed uh, okay and now the 15b project has been launched to replace the kolkata class destroyers because they have become obsolete now so this project was launched in 2011 15b project and it was given to mazagon dog shibble Question number six: Which company has announced to acquire the fintech startup Zest Money for 200 to 300 million dollars? So here, guys, Phone Pay. Phone Pay is the right answer. Phone Pay is a company owned by the Walmart, which also owns Flipkart here in India. So Phone Pay is going to acquire Zest Money for this much amount, and this acquisition will help Phone Pay in increasing its services. So it is not very important for you to remember. It's just Uh, given for your understanding purposes. Question number seven: Who has been appointed as the official cyber security partner of the Bombay Stock Exchange? So here, tech security is the right answer. Now, guys, before going into the details, let me tell you that Bombay Stock Exchange is not only India's but Asia's oldest exchange, stock exchange. So that's the accolade. that the bombay stock exchange still holds with itself okay now coming to the details tech security has been appointed as the official cyber security partner of the bombay stock exchange and it is going to provide the services in this regard only question number 8 who has become the vice president of the international electrotechnical commission so clearly from the names you can decipher that it is an indian so who is it it is vimal mahendru so he has become the vice president of the international electrical commission electro technical commission okay now india has assumed the chairmanship of the strategic management board of the same organization so right now it is in the hands of india only india is uh, you can say uh, holding a very important position in the international electro technical commission now what is this commission so guys it is an international standard setting body for the electrical produ uh, products okay electrical electronic or related technologies for all such technologies it sets the standards okay like we have in india as well we have certain marks which qualifies the quality of any product okay which certify the quality of any product similarly so Sim, uh, some kind of uh, standards are given by the Inter international electrotechnical commission so that the quality of the product and the standard of the product for the safety and security of the consumers as well as the manufacturers such standards are set by this commission now standardization management board is the apex governance body of this commission itself now guys there is one thing missing here and that thing is the headquarter of this commission which i have specifically left for you now find it out where is the commission located question number 9 is which country has given a guard of honor to army chief general manoj pandey okay so here guys the right answer is france So army chief general Manoj Pandey has received the guard of honor at this place in Paris and this place is not at all important for you to remember so you can clearly skip it just remember this question because that is the max level up to which an examiner can frame a question out of this book okay Question number 10 and also the last question with which bank has Honda Cars India signed an mou to offer a host of financial schemes to its customers so here idbi bank which is a mumbai based bank it has signed this mou with the honda cars india okay now uh, it will allow the customers to avail the hassle free affordable financing options like emi ke options bahut easily mil jayenge if you are a customer of idbi bank or etc etc so such kind of uh, offers are being provided to the customers of the idbi bank who are going to purchase the honda cars and also vice versa to, to the customers of honda cars who are going to use the idbi banks uh, network for making the payment etc okay
The collaboration with IDBI Bank is an initiative to provide all Honda, Honda customers with convenient financing solutions along with the best ownership experience and assistance. Okay. So here, guys, today's video ends. But before leaving, let me inform you guys that the PDF of this video will be uploaded on the Telegram channel of ours, and the link of the channel is in the description below. One more thing that I wanted to tell you is that, guys, this is the number which is there on WhatsApp as well. So in case you want to connect with us, in case you want to give a feedback to us, be it the negative, be it the positive, but feedback is a feedback which helps us in improving a lot. So please provide your feedbacks, even if it is a positive feedback, that, is, that also is going to help us in strengthening our plus points. And if it is a negative feedback, then definitely it is going to help us in, in improving our weaknesses, okay? In eliminating our uh, weaknesses and improving further. Okay, so that was the end of the session. Thank you so much guys for watching the session.